the light bulb went off and my heart got lit on fire. And I started talking to everybody I could about how do I train the next generation of tech talent from everyday people. When I get time working with our program participants or our students, and I see them go from someone who may not have confidence in their ability to do uh, software development or web development, and then they're thriving doing this work in our classes, and they realize, oh, wow, I'm actually really good at this. That really inspires me um, because I see, I see their their own confidence grow. And then watching our program participants over a period of time go from, in some cases, low income, underemployment to, in some cases, six-figure salaries fairly quickly is so motivating to me because we're proving that people can do this work, people that have been pretty underestimated. So um, I get really under, I get really motivated by the idea that there are so many underestimated people all around us that have the capacity uh, to do so much more. And that, that really does motivate me. But they are powerful, but beyond what they would expect. Um, I have been so impressed by the work that we have done. And uh, I think when I was a young woman, I would have never imagined what we've been able to accomplish was possible. And it, I would share that with other women and girls that we are capable of so much more than we realize. Um, and just to remember that, that we are capable of so much more than we realize. I guess I would encourage women and girls to think about what kinds of good trouble they can get themselves into. And usually that's when they have a little feeling in their gut or their heart gets lit on fire that something needs to be done in the world, that it's their work to do it. And I encourage women and girls to continue to make that good trouble.